today I am working on the river cabin. I've got some help coming out here to help me replace part of the roof here. I hope it's going to go smoothly, but it never does. Welcome to Rat and Cat where we search, survive, and explore. I'm Nakia. Well, we're working on our river cabin today. And like I said, I'm going to work on the roof. Uh, I have some people coming out to help me. Have to replace where it was leaking. Uh, uh, move the uh, bathroom vent up towards the top of the roof so the snow doesn't catch it and jam underneath of it and leak inside and break the seal. And anyhow, it's ruined a couple of the pieces of sheeting under there. So I have to remove maybe a third of the roof in order to get that sheeting out. Also, I need to get this uh, piece of concrete out of here, the slab for the front steps. It frost heaves during the winter, pushes the whole deck up several inches like I've talked about before and I already removed the steps. I'll put a link for that video if you wanna watch it. And I gotta remove these stumps to get out of the way so I can move this around and, and grade this so we can put gravel down. Lots of work uh, to do before winter. And I'm just trying to see how much I can get done. Uh, I'm really excited about trying to get some I've been wanting to get to this roof for so long and that's so important for the winter that and the French drain are the two biggest deals um, so that it's not you know, just that water protection we have that water protection the thing I really don't like about metal roofs is the fact that they contract and expand so much with the temperature and the weather. And on a large roof like this, or a long roof, where these are 30 foot pieces, 37, 30 feet, seven inches pieces of steel long, uh, they are, uh, it really stretches. You can actually see where it's kind of made a groove here a little bit from expanding up and forth, back, back and forth. And that just uh, that just works all these screws out. So a lot of these screws have just come out on their own here over the last 40 years, or are working their way out. So we have to replace all those with larger screws. And this is the south side facing the sun, so it's heating and cooling. The other side isn't isn't doing that. It's not as expanding and and contracting as much through the day and night. Uh, but I don't know, I don't care for metal roofs. And in, in places like this where there's a lot of snow, yeah, it's great because it sheds it. But, you know, you have to deal with up shedding on your sidewalk and hitting people or whatever. And I'm not on this roof, but yeah, I have very mixed feelings about metal roofs. But this is what we've got for now, so we're going to fix it. Got all the screws out of most of these two sheets that, are, that we have to replace entirely. And then I have to go through and <coughs> loosen up all of the ones next to it uh, for four feet on either side. Actually, eight feet it's going to be because I think it's about in the middle um, to remove that um, sheeting, the plywood sheeting underneath. And my help that was supposed to be out here for most of the day had guests come, and so they're not here at all. But that's unfortunate, but stuff happens. Doing my best. Oh, and there's a bee's nest at the top. I better spray that before I do anything else. Also, my brother's bringing over his tractor this morning, and we're going to move out some of the steps, a foundation or concrete steps that were the landings for the stairs so that I can get the trench dug around the house.
fight, even if we get it over under that corner. No, I, I'm going to have to remove them somehow or another. Alright, All right, thanks Lake. Appreciate it. There is one stuck there. <laughs> it's a fresh one. A little tiny bit. Not really? Not much. Yeah, I think it's pretty dug in. Yeah, I think I'll use the sump grinder on it. Okay. I know we can get it out, but it might take a little time. Yeah. This is really great. This saved me a bundle of time. And my other brother's done a fair amount of working with large equipment. And I'm looking for the chain that I brought back here. And so I trust him with that kind of stuff. I mean, he was doing some pretty fine work there that close to the foundation. I wouldn't be doing that myself. There we go. Awesome, that's such a huge help, Leif. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Huh? Right, but you just want it in that there? Oh, you got it? Okay. Yeah, that's something pretty solid still. Yeah, I need to grind this one out, and that one out, and that one out, and that one out, and that one out. Got a fair amount to do. Well, that's huge. Thanks for helping me make this a bigger mess. Appreciate it. This looks nice. Thanks. Yeah, it took way too long. Yeah, I think you can see even more now how that was sloping back towards the house and then the ground out front here is higher. And so the water was just going up right against the foundation under there. 
and uh, part of the problem of the moisture standing up against and then seeping underneath the house. Yeah, super excited now because basically all I have to do is move these railroad ties here, watch out for the sewer line that goes under there, and then remove these stumps, and then I can ditch switch. Use a trencher to go all the way around the house. Easy peasy, what could go wrong? What the heck is that? It's huge. As it turns out, this 28 foot ladder is actually uh, 27 foot and I saw that at the store and I thought, oh, that'll be okay. But as it turns out, it's pretty hairy up there at the top. You can barely reach, barely reach the top. So I'm really disappointed that I got that one. I don't know that I can take it back now. But uh, well, it's working for the most part. It's just really hairy up at the top. This should probably be roped in. Anchored off. Uh, the water's really moving up quickly. Came up a couple of feet yesterday, uh, or last night. My kids and I were down here playing on the beach and they built this little, it's a sand trap. sand trap slash animal den and uh, it's uh, mostly or partly covered in water it was a couple feet above the water yesterday